Happy, happy Friday, everybody. How's it going? I don't know about y'all, but it's supposed to be really cold here this weekend. Three to five inches on Monday, that's what they're saying. I didn't know that. Oh yeah, as of today when I was driving in, three to five inches on Monday, if we, if we get it, we'll see. We'll have a thing where they'll be saying, um, snowstorm. 2021 is, is it are, are they are the news people like that in y'all's town we're like snowstorm they even have music dun, dun. snowstorm 2021 if memphis gets a little ice it's over it's over there's no bread and there's no milk at the grocery store True and that. and it's full is that are y'all the same way uh -huh. hey miss jennifer wasn't just seeing your name was last night so sweet i don't know guys if you have known, but we did, we started our very first, it's called our maker class, and it's where we break out into groups and we have discussions. Last night it was on friendship and we have a project that we do together and it was so sweet. Oh my gosh. I was so excited. It was definitely um, the God idea. Hey, Leona. Hey, Linda. Hey, Esther. Um, but it was so sweet. And so we have launched our new one for March 11th. You want to you wanna get in on this. If anybody's watching that was on it from last night, tell them how sweet it was and you want to be a part, I promise. We've got something really special for you guys today, don't we? We do. It's fun. We're going to show you how to create. Let, let me show you this because this is more dry. Can you see this? We're going to show you how you can create this gorgeous piece of art. Isn't it beautiful? And we actually did this piece probably about two and a half years ago. ago. Mm -hmm. And we are, um, um, we're reintroducing this kit for you to be able to purchase. And we're going to show you what's included in it in just a minute. But we're showing you how to be able to create more abstract art mm -hmm. that's on here and how to be able to mix it. And it's a combination of the chalk art and Venetian plaster. And the cool thing about it is everybody's is going to look totally different. Absolutely. And we're going to send you a recipe card with it that will have it broken out um, into steps, step by step, so that way you can't mess it up. And we're going to show you how to do it today. It's really, really cool. So, um, hey, Pam from Snowy, Ohio. Well, at least we need snow to justify these really uh, cold the temperatures. Cold. Mm -hmm. Now, I have to say, though, we did get ice, and I think it's the most beautiful thing. I feel like all of Memphis is covered in crystals. It's just pretty. Yes. And when you walk under the trees and the wind blows, there's that tinkling sound that's yes. just... And then what, at my so house, you hear... <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't have just done you that. You shouldn't have done that. Um, yeah. I had, had a little mishap fall yesterday, and... Um, She's hurting. Broke a couple of ribs, but you know what? My big girl panties are on and I am pushing through. <laughs> so um, so I'm a little late doing this today, but anyway, it's all good. Um, but let's show you this. I'm gonna turn this down and um, let me see. Do you want me to turn Yeah, down? Michelle's gonna pull I'm that gonna down turn because this down. I can't reach That's right now. It's too much stretching. <laughs> so here's the deal, guys. This is really, really cool. Now here, when we say sharing is caring, for real, you want to share this because your name will go in for a drawing and we're going to be giving this kit away. And so in this kit, you're going to get um, the Venetian plaster and you're going to get a bag of Venetian plaster. You're going to get three full size containers of chalk art. Cute as a Tell button. So on and so forth and hey, good looking. <laughs> Which is my favorite one. Such a cute color green, though. So you'll get those three full sizes of chalk art. You'll get the alphabet four stencils so that you can write what you want to write. So our sample says, be still and um, be still my soul. And you, see that? you have the freedom to write whatever you want when you get the alphabet. There's two full alphabets on here. And then you're going to get a chalk art spreader to do your Venetian plaster, as well as your 18 by 18 solid wood surface. So guys, really and truly, this is a great project. This opened up the door uh, the first time we introduced this and then we sold out. Um, this opened up the door for a lot of people that had never uh, done abstract art before. Absolutely. And it was it's really fun and really, really easy. Mm -hmm. So Sharon is caring, share the video. Your name will go in for a drawing and we'll be drawing that person's name on Monday. So when you get this kit, you want to turn it over 
and um, oh, I want to see that person's name. Loved last night. Thank you for bringing, bringing us, us together. together. It was so sweet, guys. It you know it just goes to say we really do need community and we need friendships and we need to really be able to have discussions that we topics of discussion yes. that we go over. So um, that make that more. Um, deeper meaning it's not surface level conversation yes all right so you're basically going to take we won't show you this part but you're going to take your venetian plaster that's going to come in here and it's in a powder form and you're just going to mix it with warm water until you get a consistency about like this so you just add warm water to the plaster and it's going to be like a thick 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 sour cream mm -hmm. isn't that the best analogy i think so all right, so... Like sour cream before you add milk. <laughs> we like to put a little bit of milk in our sour cream, so okay. it's a lot thinner. Okay. So we want to just do like uh, some, nine, nine dollops. So um, the board that you get in this kit is 18 by 18. And I usually will tell people do three across. Maybe we can spread it out just a little bit more. Okay. Three, like you're baking cookies on a cooking sheet, you want to have them, um, you know, kind of evenly distributed. And then that way it's going to allow you to be able to spread it out. So this, um, this is really the quality of wood that you would get. Like if you were in an artist gallery and there was an artist that had actually done an abstract Venetian plaster um, calcium carbonate painting. So it's really pretty and really easy. So, do you want to use this one or do you want to use this one? I'm going to use this one because this is what they'll have. Got it. All right, so basically you're going to just take your spreader. Now, this is something that a lot of you have never done this before. Um, and then, so that's a good thing. You're learning how to do something it's new. It's so fun. So did you do this? Did you? Do, were you able to do one for your house? Okay. Mm -hmm. So basically you want to just take the plaster and your spreader. And I usually will say stay off the edges because I'd like for you to come back with one of the other chalk arts and make it a little bit darker. Now, one of the things you're, you're gonna notice as you start to spread this out, if you, if you get something in here, basically what that is, it's just like a little area that maybe wasn't mixed up good. So you wanna just kind of move that away so that way it will go on nice and smooth. And this is a fairly quick, easy process. You're just spreading it like you were icing a cake. I usually try to tell people if you want to go um, one direction like this to be able to kind of spread it out to the side, that's okay. That's okay. But then you want to come back and make sure it's nice and smooth. Mm -hmm. Okay. So when you'll get built up areas, let me kind of go into this center. I can give you more too. Do you want some more? I may be okay. Let me just see. Okay. Um, so guys, as you pop on, be sure and say, hey, um, I think it would be interesting to find out what's the temperature. <laughs> Send us some love. Are you freezing where you and are? tell us what the temperature, <laughs> weather is, um, is, a, is a major topic here in Memphis right now, considering we're going to be in one digits. And I think one day it's this coming. week we're one degree. I one have de no idea. Mary it's Margaret was saying going that. going to be... Cold. It keeps getting colder in the forecast. As of yesterday, my dad said there was one night that was like seven is the low. I'm sorry. That's nuts. It's crazy. For the, I, We say it's crazy. Y'all, we're in Memphis. Memphis doesn't really get below not like freezing our, our temps Ohio, a whole lot. Yes, not like our Ohio friends. Our yeah. Ohio friends who had negative 22 degrees. Yeah, and they're like, y'all are whiners. Right. So, I grew up in New Mexico. I'm used to zero, like below zero temperatures, but I have been gone for a really long time and my blood is not that thin anymore. <laughs> it's funny, you just don't think about New Mexico being that cold. Well, it, so in the lower parts, it's not as bad, but I grew up in the Rocky Mountains, so it was cold. Um, it's 6,500 above sea level. My grandparents are 8,500 above sea level, so we were pretty high mountains. So this kind of gives you the idea. Um, of what we want you to do in this first step. And what we're showing you, if you're just now popping on, y'all are like, why isn't what she doing, doing stencils? <laughs> what, what is Amy and Michelle doing? Um, we're showing you how to be able to create um, a beautiful original abstract art, Absolutely. really and truly. We've got a recipe card that will come in this kit for you that you'll be able to follow step, step outs. And you wanna just cover 
the complaint board that you get in this kit with the plaster like this. So you can move it a couple of different directions if you want, but then I'd like for you to just kind of smooth it out when you get to that point. And you wanna make sure that there's no holidays. You want it completely filled in and preferably where you don't really see the wood like that. Try to come back and just do a little bit lighter touch. Spreading it out. Yeah, so the whole thing is spread out, kind of like you were icing a cake. Same analogy. All right, so we're gonna set this aside. Because we have one that's ready for the next yes. step. So the cool thing about it is, um, when you are doing this, you are gonna get it spread everywhere like Michelle did right before we went live. And you do wanna make sure that you've got pretty good coverage, that there's no what we call holidays. And the holidays is where there's a hole showing through. You don't want holidays. You want it to be covered all the way across like this. And so then the next thing you're gonna, you're gonna use is in this kit with a board, it's a deal guys, you get three of these chalk arts. So these colors are put together, they're really quite beautiful. You've got your blue gray, your darker blue, and your green. So it allows you to be able to mix these up. Um, yeah, you can take some out and we'll show them in just a second, hold on. So I wanna show you, if you give me some plaster, do we have a clean uh, spoon? I want you a clean spoon? So we wanna show you how you mix these. And if you're just now popping on, this is the hero shot of kind of the original art that I'm, oh, I'm showing you how to do. Isn't that beautiful? Guys, it's so easy, so fun. And we've got all the supplies for you to be able to create this beautiful piece of art in this kit. It's limited time only. We're not gonna have this up there. Um, actually, no, I'm gonna use you your plaster that's already mixed. Okay. All right, so this is, uh, the Mich this is Michelle's plaster that she already mixed before we went live. And again, it's the sour cream. I usually mix it with warm, warm water, uh, the plaster that you will get in this kit. Mix it with warm water, so it's about the consistency of sour cream. Spray so I've just got a little there. dollop in my cup like this, okay? I think, that's, I think I'm good. A dollop of Daisy. Because I may need that on another color. Okay. I don't want to use it up. I can make you some more. So I'm going to take um, a little bit of this blue. Now, this is called a cute as a button. And I'm gonna take a little bit of the chalk art out like this. Totally different way to use it. You can use it with stencils and we're gonna do that because we're gonna add some words. I love abstract art with words. I think it's really fabulous. I think it adds a lot more to it, especially if you wanna use scripture. This one is Be Still My Soul. Just it's four simple words, but it really takes the, the painting to me to a whole new level. So, all right, so I've got my little dollop of Venetian plaster here and I'm adding my chalk art. So let's blend this together. So it's gonna make it a little bit of a lighter blue. And when you're mixing your, um, when you're mixing your plaster and your colors, they will be a little bit darker, but they're gonna dry lighter. Um, so I'm gonna, I have a spreader here and you get a spreader in the kit so you want to be sure and just rinse it off when you're mixing from color to color and I'm going to spread this across my spreader like this and if you want to if you see that you get it too thick you can add water which I may do in just a minute all right so now we applied this I don't know if you can tell with the lights but this is still wet if I were to touch this, I would smear it. So you want this to set up for about 10 to 15 minutes, but it's still going to be wet. Is everybody with me? So I've got 100% coverage of my plaster. I've mixed up my cute as a button with some plaster and my chalk art. And now I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna come up at the top. Now the way my, my thought process in, is with this is that this is my sky. And as this goes down, it's going into my landscape or my green. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Our earth. Yes. So this is the look. So I'm gonna go over um, this piece with my blue. And when I lay this down, I wanna make sure that you can see me. When I lay this down, I kind of, I do that. I lay it down and kind of flick it. Lay it down and kind of flick it. And he 
hear it. Flick it. Yes. Come on. Does that hurt your hands? No, Mom. I'm just, my whole body is just going. We got stuff going on here. Now, so you see how, why I flicked it? Look at that. So I laid it down and now I'm pulling it. Isn't that totally cool, Amongo? Okay. All right, so when you're flicking it and then I'm gonna come and kind of spread it down, part of the beauty in this, guys, and if, if you have questions about this, just kind of rewatch it, but part of what, what can make this work so cool is the fact that your plaster is wet. Mm -hmm. You are painting and pulling into wet plaster. If this was dry, it's not gonna blend. So I can come back and keep blending like this mm -hmm. and softening it. And you want to make sure you go off on the edges because I want to make sure that, I don't know why it is when people are doing paintings, they'll stay away from the edge and then they'll have their painting in the center. So you want to make sure that you go off of the Everywhere. edges. Now, let's, here's my plaster that I mixed with my chalk art. Let's add a little bit of water. And normally if you're doing this, now ours isn't um, warm, but I would like for you to mix it and it be warm. Let me see. Maybe I had this. Yeah, let me see. Now it's just a little bit thinner. So I'm going to put some of this on my spreader, like this. Dun, dun, dun. And now I'm going to come back over it just a little bit. I've got a little bit of darker blue. Now I'm going to have a little bit of lighter blue. It's going to be softer. I'm just gonna kind of cover the whole surface. I'm gonna go back over it again. It's hard for me to talk and, and do this at the same time. Talk and so play sorry. at the same time. It's so pretty. And you're just pulling it through the plaster. Yes. So that we have coverage everywhere. Yes. And I'll constantly kind of pull it off that edge, just putting it back on it again. And it's, I'll be honest with you, I probably need to go in and stand up. It's hard to get this look and see. And sit. So that way I can see a little bit more about what I'm doing. All right, so now let's come in. I'm gonna add just a little bit more blue down here. That had a little bit more water in it. I can make it thinner. Really and truly, you're gonna you're gonna be so surprised how this dries. That's amazing. It really is amazing. And we like that scraping sound with Venetian plaster. Yes, it loves it. That scraping sound is you burnishing the plaster. The other thing so that it gives I don't it know texture. If you, yeah, see what I'm doing? Just mm -hmm. by kind of pulling that across it. See how that's cutting, cutting. down into it and bringing that white back out. I'll pull it the opposite direction. It's kind of what will give me some interesting texture and it will set up fairly quickly. But that, this is all you're doing. You're just spreading it around. All right, now we're ready for our second color. Do you want blue or green? Let's do green, I think. Yeah, or dark blue. You know, we like green on top. Yeah, I think dark darker blue. Okay. I want to so, make sure, do we mix that? We are going to. Okay. Whoop. My little plate is falling over. Guys, be sure as you pop on, be sure and say hi. Huh? Tell us where you're coming in one. from. want to mix it up good. Can they see what you're doing? So what we did is we added, um, in this kit, you're going to get three large chalk arts. 
And so Michelle is adding the dark so blue on and so forth. So we're adding just a little bit of the chalk art to the plaster, plaster. with a little Oops, bit of water, so and we're mixing it together. Do we and need, so, I think we need water on this one. It's pretty thick. Well, let's see. So you can make up different consistencies. Yeah. Um, was there no water added at all to that? The, it was this. So I just got took it, straight got it. from here. So let's just do a couple of dots okay. of water. How's it going, guys? Oh, yeah, so we're, we're talking. Movement. Hey, Trish. Hey, guys. So today we are doing this adorable abstract art that we had in a maker studio probably about two years ago. Mm -hmm. And we are reintroducing it into a kit that you'll be able to purchase on the website. And it comes with the surface, the Venetian plaster, the three large chalk arts, the stencil, and the spreader. It's a deal. And you'll also get a recipe card that's going to break it out to be able to show you how to do this. Look at the words on there. Isn't that, isn't that darling? What a great piece of art for you to be able to put on your mantle or um, hang on any wall in your house. So, Michelle is mixing up the second color of the dark blue. Hey, Diane. Well, thank you. Be sure and share this video and your name will go in for drawing. That We're going to be giving this, um, this kit away. So um, it's beautiful, I promise. It's, it's one of my favorite pieces. I'm excited to bring it back. Okay, so. You got more than that water? I think that's pretty yeah, good. It's pretty thick. So you see the colors that we put together. Yeah, that feels perfect. The colors that we put together, so you've got your lighter value blue, you've got your darker value of blue, and then we're gonna come back with our green. So these are all mm -hmm. complementary colors. The cool thing about it is you can learn this technique, but then you can come back and you can change the colors out. Absolutely. A lot of you are going to get addicted to this, and you're going to go, I may start doing these and selling them. Absolutely. And you can. You totally They're can. A beautiful, like, this is a beautiful art technique. It's yes. not just that you're no, no. making something. This is like an artistic technique that you'll start putting on everything. Yes, totally. <laughs> All right, so now here's what I want you to do. You'll notice that I have put this. I'm right-handed. So it's not on this side, it's on the opposite side. So that way when I put it down, this is the way I'm applying it. And you see about how much I've put on. Now what I want you to do is I want you to lay it up on a 45 degree angle like this, and then kind of flick it like this. Lay it down in it and flick it. Lay it down and flick it. Flick it. You're, flick you're it dragging good. it. You just da -da 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 -da. lay it and then, then pull it like this. Help me with my... You must flick it. So, and it's not all going to be the same. I want nope. you to randomly just kind of pull it around like this. And I'm going to come down to about two-thirds of the way. It's very, it's very random. Okay? Now, I'm going to, I'm going to get another spreader. All you will do is rinse this in water. So, now I'm going to come back and I'm going to kind of pull it through. My, my plaster's still wet, guys. It's still damp. And then now I'm just gonna come back. Look at this, can you see? That blue see. pulling. Can you see where the blue is starting to pull? Mm -hmm. Now watch, I'm gonna pull this. Look at this. This is the top of my painting and I'm working my way down. And I'll kind of blend it. Usually when I'm through with the whole thing, oh, look at that. See how okay, that will get on there? Is. And it mm -hmm. lifts and it'll go into that other space. That's why I talk about don't put it everywhere. Because it transfers on its own. Yeah. Got some real expensive rags over here that we're working with. <laughs> now I'll come back into my darker color and I'm going to kind of pull this. I don't want any area to show up too much. You want to blend it. And all that's doing is just kind of blending it. Now, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I want to come back with some white real quick. I'm going to have to make you some more. Here we go. Just, I don't need much. All right. So, I'm going to come back with just a little bit of my plaster. And you just mix the plaster up with water to make it into like a sour cream consistency. And I'm just going to kind of come back on top of this. Look at this. Mm -hmm. You can leave it thick like this. You yes. don't have to blend the whole thing. It Look at this. It gives it depth and oh my texture. Gosh. Aren't you loving that? It gives so much character. Oh to my your gosh. Piece. I love loving it. Loving it. Love, 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 love. Love, love, love. Yeah. I don't want to blend that a whole lot. I'm I loving either. that. I like that. Yeah, very pretty. All right, so now let's do our third color. You have green over there. So let's show them in the container. 
This is our green. So we've got our light blue, our dark blue, and then our green. Do you need some water for that? And I'm going to add just a little bit of water to it, just, just a dab. A little dab will do you. So we, again, if you're just now hopping on, we mix the plaster with the chalk art and the water. And I just want to blend it really well. Isn't this fun, guys? Sharing is caring. Share this amazing video. This isn't just... This just isn't, isn't introducing a new stencil. We're showing you an art form. Absolutely. That a lot of you, maybe you've got a friend that does the art and she's like, she's going to flip over this. Yes. This is a look that you're going to see in an art gallery um, a, of an artist. Yes. Not only that, you're going to fall in love with doing it. It really is fun. And it's, I, okay, so one of the things I love about Venetian plaster is not knowing what I'm going to end with. Never. Just not knowing what it's going to yes. look like. Yes. Because... Yes. You're blending, you're playing, yes. and it has a life of its own. Yes. So this is an abstract of landscape. So the green is basically our grass. Yes. And there again, um, mm -hmm. see how I just kind of lay it down and I flick it. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It's going to pick up some of that blue because you're working kind of wet. It is. Thanks, Alice. We do too. She said she loves the color combination oh, so much. It's happy. These are my colors. So my house is blues and pops of green because green's my favorite color. And I've started adding that mustard yellow. But um, I love so on and so forth and hey, good looking are two of my most favorite chalk art colors that we have. My new favorite though is Shindig, the really dark teal that we have. It also makes me happy. I think I need a little bit more plaster. So I wanna come back down in here, kinda see how I did at the top with the blue how I blended that. I wanna come down at the bottom now and I'm gonna meld it just a little bit. Let me get a clean finger to okay. give that to you. <laughs> Look guys. And I'm gonna spread it out like that. My favorite thing, dirty fingers. Yes, it makes it a lot more fun. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna kinda of come on top of this. Yes. And blend it. Yes. I love it when it does this. Mm-hmm. The breaking where you can just, it's just yummy texture and Love it. And it's something to be honest with you that you're just gonna have to kind of play with and get to where you like the composition of it. You may come back and add just a little bit more blue down in here. I want to allow it to just kind of start to dry a little bit because I don't wanna over blend it. Some some in the very that, area, corners. that area down here, that green was just kind of sticking out to me just a little bit. And I just want to soften it. Got it. I'm going for my composition. So I'm bringing this white down in here just a little bit because I want my green a little further down. And I'll probably just kind of come back and add a little bit more blue and a little bit of green. But I'm going to, sh I'm going to hold this up. Hold on just a second. It's like I get to see you. Hey, Cheryl. <laughs> hey, girl. Okay, so. So pretty. Can you see this? So. Loving it. Let you kind of be able to see the texture. So I'll come back. You want to hold that one? Happily. Now, what's going to happen as it starts to draw, these areas that we see, and I may just kind of come in and soften this just a little bit. Since this is wet, I can come in if there's things that kind of show up to me to where I want to blend them. Yes. Uh -oh. <laughs> Love it. I saw that too. As far as the dots? Yes. Yes. 
But you just have to get away from it yep. in order to be able to just kind of see it. I didn't see it until we put it in the camera. And blend it. So when we put it in the camera, I saw it. Because this one was one. I better I it. better let you reach that. I'll so get it. um so the other thing, everybody's is gonna look totally different. This is one that was um more the 15 by 20. I told Michelle we wanted to be able to do one that was 18 by 18. But I'm just going to tell you, these look so much prettier in person. They're gorgeous. And when it dries down, when it dries down, it's going to have the variances in it like this. Yes. Because the um, right now it's kind of wet, and when it dries down, they'll be a little bit more subtle. And so it really is something, sorry, you can stand up with me. It really is something that you will enjoy, that will be a beautiful piece of art that you can um, enjoy, enjoy for, for years, years to come. Now, what I need you to do is allow this to dry, and then you can come back, and we like just going in maybe the bottom right-hand corner. Normally, when you add words, you don't want to do it in the center of mm -hmm. your piece of art. You want to be able to go about right here and then write. Maybe you just do the words grace. Maybe you just write be still. Maybe be quiet. Maybe <laughs> whatever. Riley um, goes, Mom, be quiet is shut up. That's what he tells No, me. for me, it's about getting quiet. So we, in this kit, we included the alphabet four um, that you can write anything you want to mm -hmm. there. And I would say put it about right down here and maybe even do it um, in that pale blue, which show up really, really yes. um, pretty again. So um, anyway, you want to be able to get this piece of, I'm just going to tell you, this is a very inexpensive way of you doing a piece of art. Mm -hmm. This would very, very much in a, in a cute little gift shop sell uh, for probably a couple of hundred dollars. If the artist were doing abstract, they're using chalk art, they're using plasters, um, that it's, it really is something that is going to allow you, um, that it would be very much worth it. So guys, we hope you have, you can put it down. Poor Michelle's covering her face. up. Hi. We Hi. hope you have a fabulous weekend. Hope this was something that you enjoy. Share it. Thank you for sprinkling. Share this video and your name will go on for a drawing and we're going to be giving this kid away. Um, for somebody. So thanks, Trish. What a sweet word. We, and I, again, I really want to encourage you, go to the website, get involved, be part of our March 11th gathering. We're going to be having another maker class and I'll be interviewing my friend, Karen Conley. She's written a book on um, the pressure to feel like Miss Perfect. Ooh. We're going to be talking about the pressure of being, feeling like we have to be perfect. And everything that we do and we don't talk about it a whole lot but um we do we don't talk about it because we don't want to own it <laughs> yeah but it's Let's a lot honest. of pressure and so you are going to love her she is so insightful she's written this incredible bible study on it and it we're going to have a great evening and our breakouts that's that was so much fun so anyway have a fantastic weekend everybody we love you bye, bye.